Okay, so what about Bailey? So let's get started because this is kind of a long story. So we got things to do. Let's start with our scarecrow song. The floppy floppy scarecrow guards the fields all day. He waves his floppy floppy head and scares the crows away. Now your shoulders. The floppy floppy scarecrow guards the fields all day. He waves his floppy floppy shoulders and scares the crows away. Now your elbows. The floppy floppy scarecrow guards the fields all day. He waves his floppy floppy elbows and scares the crows away. Now your fingers. The floppy floppy scarecrow guards the fields all day. He waves his floppy floppy fingers and scares the crows away. Good job, boys and girls. I like that one so much. All right, so my book that I like to read is called Room on the Broom. Have you ever seen this book before? Now afterwards, I have a little activity that goes along with this. And if you like this book so much, if you guys have Netflix at your home, you gotta ask your grown up. If you have Netflix at home, they have made a short cartoon of this book as well. It's really good. My boys like to watch it and um, you guys can do it that way if you don't have those books. So let's get started because it's a very long book. Room on the Broom. It's by Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. All right, guys, can you see? Good. The witch had a hat, a cat, and a hat that was black and long ginger hair and a braid down her back. How the cat purred, how the witch grinned as they sat on the broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly it blew off the hat. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes, on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. He dropped it in, he dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I'm a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? cried the witch, and the dog clampered on. The witch tapped the brooms, broomstick, and whoosh, they flew on. So she couldn't leave her new friend dog. Oh, here we go. Over the fields and the forest they flew. The dog wagged his tail, and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud and howled out her hat, but away blew the bow from her braid just like that. So now there goes her bow. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out of a, from a tree, with an ear-splinting shriek, there flapped a green bird with the bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low. Then said, as the witch tied her braid in the bow, I'm a bird, as green as could be. Is there broom on the broom for a bird like me? Hmm. Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they flew on. Oh, it's getting really stormy. Over the reeds and the river they flew. The birds shrieked with glee, and the storm wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden, out of the pond, leap a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on a fold of her cloak, I'm a frog, as clean as can be. 
Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? What do you think, boys and girls? She can let the frog on too. It's getting really full. Yes, said the witch. So the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they flew. They were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy and the broom snapped into two. Uh-oh, too much. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down went the tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. <gasps> wonder what's up in the clouds. I'm a dragon as mean as can be. And the witch with french fries tastes delicious to me. <gasps> no, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew near with a glint in his eye and said, just this once, I'll have witch without fries. <gasps> oh no, she needs help. Just like she helped those other animals. But just as she planned to begin on his feast, from out of the ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathery, and furred. It had four frightened heads. It had wings like a bird, and its terrible voice, when it started to speak, was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squished as it strolled from the ditch, and it said to the dragon, Buzz off, that's my witch. Look at that monster. Do you see who it is? The dragon drew back and he started to shake. Oh, I'm sorry, he spluttered. I made a mistake. It's not, to, it's not nice to have met you, but I must fly. And he spread it out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside. She was very lucky. All of her friends jumped in to help her. Then she filled up the cauldron and said with a grin, Find something, everyone. Throw something in. So the frog found a lily, and the cat found a comb, and the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in. The witch stirred them well. And while she was sitting, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom! Then out rose. What do you think she was making? <gasps> a truly magnificent broom. Wow. With seats for the witch, and the cat and the dog, the nest for the bird, and the pool for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clampered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Look at that magnificent broom she created. Now everybody has a spot. Did you guys like that story? Room on the broom? I just love it. I just think it's so nice that they were helping each other out. And then that dragon, whoo, he was a little scary. But I had a happy ending. All right, so I have a little activity I would like you guys to do for room on a broom. Now, you have to get some materials at your house. And since I'm walking at home, I use some materials I have in my house. So I'll show you before I have you um, get your materials and then do the activity. So I've got some wooden blocks here. I've got a few. And I got some characters, some small figures. And my boys like little superheroes so I got little superheroes and I need something flat like a like a popsicle stick but I didn't have any popsicle sticks so I found a flat ruler so you can use that and you can do something that's long or short whatever you have okay so here's your challenge okay 
you're going to be a little bit of a builder. But in the story, they needed lots of room. Remember, at the end, they made a big broom for everybody to have room. So your challenge is to see how many characters you can fit on your flat surface. So let me move my camera so you can see. Down here on the table. There you go. All right, so I have my blocks here. So I'm going to build them tall. I'm going to start with two. And I'm going to take my flat surface, like my ruler, and go put it across. And I'm going to try to get my characters to find room on this area and to balance. That's the challenge. They have to balance and make sure you have room. Now, I only grabbed three. You can grab lots of little figures to see how much you can fit on there if there's room on your broom and see how much you can do. Now I could build my taller sides. I can build it up higher. I can maybe get another longer surface so I can put more on there. It's up to you. But your challenge is to find room on a broom and see how many characters you can balance on your flat object, your flat stick. And you build it up with some blocks. Or if you don't have blocks, you can use books. You can use lots of different items. But I just wanna see if you guys can find room on your broom. All right, good job, Oops, knock it over. Mm -hmm. All right, so boys and girls, our time is up already. Um, hopefully next week I'll be back in the classroom and you won't have to visit my house too often, but we were on remote learning week, so I didn't get to go in as much as I like to. So let's sing our song and I will talk to you guys next week. I had fun at school today. I had fun at school today. I had fun at school today. I can't wait to come back. Goodbye, I'll miss you. Goodbye, I'll miss you. Goodbye, I'll miss you, but I'll see you next time. Bye, boys and girls. Happy Halloween.